Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Brandon from the Hala Hala Hikers. Today we're going to be installing the Putco Molly Panels. These are basically Molly Panels that go along the inside of your truck bed and you can attach accessories, gear. It's very modular. You can put just about anything on here. But the great thing is, is it uses that wasted space right above the wheel wells where you couldn't really stash anything anyways. So this just provides an attachment point for you to put all of your stuff and then keeps the actual truck bed free of space. It's just a great way to keep things organized. And Putco makes this for multiple trucks, but of course I'm gonna be installing it on the 2020 Silverado Trail Boss. So let's get started. So the first step of the install, we're going to locate and remove these three plastic oval covers. To do that, we're just gonna use a small flathead screwdriver. Got it. One, two, three. So the next step is to loosely assemble your brackets. The brackets look like this. There is a 5 16 bolt, a tabbed washer, and then we have a nut plate. So we're going to install the bolt through the bracket first, just hand tighten it through, then tabbed washer, then nut plate. And loosely fit, the bracket should look like that. Bolt, bracket, washer, nut plate. We're gonna line it up and fit it in just right. Now make sure that you screw this on enough that there's no way that it's gonna fall off. If you put this through the hole and lost that nut plate down there or that washer down there, there's no getting it back. Go in at an angle. So I found a good technique. Once the nut plate is perpendicular and is straight up and down and the washer is lined up, use your hands on each side of the bracket to hold it into place and then your hex key to tighten it down and that keeps everything lined up. And then once it's on there, don't tighten it all the way just in case we need to make any adjustments when the molly panel is actually on there. So I bought several of these quick fist clamps. They're rubber clamps that go around whatever object you're trying to secure. And then I'm gonna use a bolt and then on the back side of the molly, these large one and five eighth inch washers to hold these in place and I'm going to assemble everything on my molly panel before I install it against the brackets using these quick fist clamps. So these are the accessories I've chosen to mount on the molly panels. They're all things that I need to get quickly, maybe emergency situation, I need to grab them really fast. I can't be digging through a bin trying to find where they are. But also it's nice to keep them on the inside of the truck bed so they're not exposed to the elements on the outside of the truck. So these are the items here. Of course, just a handy dandy flashlight. I always keep headlamps on me when I'm camping and a flashlight on my weapon, but this is just a nice addition to have this giant mag light. I'm gonna be using this bottle jack, which has to be stored upright. Um, this is a fire extinguisher meant for automobiles or recreational vehicles. I have a Fiskars ax and a shovel, uh, I forget what it's actually called, it's purchased at crazybeavertools.com. It's known online as the murder spork because of these crazy spikes at the end. It's actually a really good shovel. Um, it can dig through just about anything. A ton of reviews online say it's a high quality shovel, so I went with that one. Now to get all this stuff mounted up and installed on the molly panels. All right, I think I'm gonna put the ax and the zombie killer murder spork on the same panel. I'll go like this. Now I have a general idea of the layout. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the quick fist clamps on there. So I will be using these number 10 bolts. These are two inches long that I bought at the hardware store, as well as these washers on the back side. So I'm gonna screw the bolt through. It's gonna go through the washer and then attach to a nut underneath on the backside. 
this is what it looks like from the back. As you can see, there's a washer, a nut, holding it in place on the back side there. And they are now all secured on the front side. If I need access, I just pull the strap back. I can pull it out, have access to it. And then latching it down with the quick fist is super easy. So that's one side, let's do the other side. So for larger items like the fire extinguisher and the bottle jack, I'm gonna be using the same brand, quick fist, but these brackets are up to four and a half inch diameter and a little heavier duty. So there's two screws, but we're gonna mount them the same exact way in each of those two holes there. Now, once you have all of your attachments for the molly panel placed where you want them, it's time to actually mount the molly panel to the truck bed. So we are going to take the supplied hardware and a T30 torque bit and screw everything on and get this bad boy mounted. Yeah, and it looks like we did a good job lining it up. So we can go ahead and tighten down those original brackets as well. As you guys can see, install was a breeze. It was no problem, it took me less than an hour. Let's go ahead and pop some of these accessories on. Everything in there is now locked and secure. So with my tonneau cover, all that stuff is organized and locked up. There's a third molly panel that you could place against the cabin, but because the way my tonneau cover rolls in there, there's that box, I wasn't able to get the third section. If you did have that third section, you might be able to add a power tank, a med kit, I don't know, the possibilities are endless. Comment below what you guys would add on your molly panel. Anyways, thanks for hanging out guys, appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up if you found this video useful or entertaining. Subscribe if you haven't already, I post videos like this every Sunday. And don't forget to get outside, stay hydrated, and keep on moving. <laughs>